everyone. My name is Sammy Ao. If you live close in Mississippi, if you're from South Louisiana, it's Sammy Io. My last name is spelled A Y O. Uh, I live close to Mississippi state line, so uh, I'm used to being called Sammy Ao. Anyway, I have. Uh, I want to introduce you to my quail farm. I I am with uh, B and S Farms. I have uh, quail, and I'll introduce you to some of my quail. These are Pharaoh Caternix quail. That's what I have in these cages. But if you walk down here, I have a few bobwhite. And I'm actually hatching out some more bobwhite in my incubators right now. Uh, I have uh, about 94, no, I'm sorry. It's, I'm sorry, the 50 hens, 50 uh, Caternix, Pharaoh Caternix hens. And if you're wondering why I have both, well, the Caternix, they hatch quicker, mature quicker, and start laying eggs sooner. And there's some eggs right there. And lay almost an egg a day. Some of them, I think sometimes they even lay more than one a day. For some reason, this one particular cage right here, uh, I have 12 hens in there, and sometimes I seem to get 13 eggs. Now, I don't know if one's laying late at night, and I'm not getting until the next day, and then the next day I get 12. I have 12. I try to keep 12 hens per cage with a, three roosters, which is one rooster for four hens in each cage because I want fertile eggs. I am using the eggs to mainly to hardball and uh, pickle, but I can also sell them raw. Uh, for eating consumption and for hatching also so but the Caternix they hatch quicker they mature quicker and they lay sooner uh, one of the things I wanted to show you here so I bought this operation from some neighbors down the road and when I bought the operation they did a great job they set these pens up if you look at the pens from a distance they're nice built pens and the floors are sloped at about I don't know maybe a one to two degree angle so when the eggs when they lay the eggs the eggs automatically roll right out to the edge of the pen and he's got an automatic watering system if you come down here the water comes in at this hose pipe down here it comes up and it comes into this tub and I got a float system right here well this feeds these automatic waterers. They have water fed to them automatically 24 hours a day. I never have to worry about watering. Now, when I got this system from my neighbor, this is the feeders that he was using, how he had it set up, okay? Just an open uh, two inch piece of pipe. I'm sorry, this is the water. This is the feeder. The open three inch piece of pipe, you pour your feed in there. You gotta come collect the eggs anyway, so you, you feed them while you're collecting the eggs. The problem with that is, and you can't see it now because I've fixed the situation, I'm gonna show you in a minute. See the feed on the ground right there? These things, that feed was piled up uh, three or four weeks ago. Piled up like crazy. They were literally wasting, it turns out after having done this about three weeks ago, they were wasting probably close to half of their feed if not maybe more so what I did was I came up with this system I opened this up so I, I cut this down the center put hinges on it and drilled inch and three quarter inch holes and now I fill my feeder and I got to make sure that this ledge is cleaned off because if it's not cleaned off good the feeder won't close all the way correctly but now you see how see how she's that quail is throwing feed and throwing feed they're not doing it intentionally, but I mean, that's just what an animal does. See the feed jumping out right there? Well, now the feed is contained. When they're scratching around in there and they're flipping the feed around with their faces and their, their beaks, the feed is still staying inside of the feeder. So I improved that and I am saving probably 50% on my feed. So anyway... I am, uh, I've, I've got, uh, like I said, about 50 birds now. I'm getting uh, anywhere from 45 to 50 eggs a day off of 50 birds. And see, they, they're drinking their water, automatic water, nonstop, drinking.
drinking in water. So I've got this thing to where I got my system set up. I'm saving 50% of my feed. I got self-watering. I'm getting 50 eggs per day off of 50, 45 to 50 eggs a day off of 50 birds. So the intent is to fill all these cages up. I have, uh, what is it? One, two, three, four empty cages on the other side yet to fill up. And all of these cages, I got 10 cages here yet to fill up. Now I am gonna continue with the bob whites, but at first I was gonna go with all bob whites and then after seeing the egg production difference between them and the and the maturity time difference between the um bob white and the caternix i'm definitely going to stay with 90 percent caternix because it's about the egg production for me that's my main market um i also wanted to show you real quick you see i'm lowering these lids so we have a problem with predators around here if you don't have something to protect them the raccoons and other varmints will come by and eat. Well, my neighbor come up with this system where you lift this lid, feed and water, and you close it back up, and that keeps the predators away. So that's about it for today. Uh, I hope y'all like my video. Uh, if y'all do, please like and subscribe, and um, I will be back in touch. Y'all have a blessed day. Today is April the 5th, Sunday, April the 5th, 2020. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a beautiful day to be with the Lord. Uh, and find a church that's open and go to it. Uh, that's my belief. And uh, I hope uh, most people who are out there in the country believe that way. Y'all have a blessed day.